Once upon a time, there was a young man named Ruby, who lived in a small village in ancient India. Ruby was a bright young man, but he was also quite lazy. He would often spend his days longing under the shade of a tree, or wandering aimlessly through the village, without any real purpose. One day, Ruby's father called him to his side and said, My son, I am growing old, and soon I will pass away. I want you to take over my business and carry on our family's legacy. Ruby was taken aback. He had never really thought about his future, let alone taking over his father's business. But he did not want to disappoint his father. So he reluctantly agreed. The following day, Ruby went to his father's shop and sat behind the counter. But he had no idea what to do. He watched as customers came and went. But he could not muster the energy to engage with them or make any sales. Days turned into weeks and Ruby's business suffered. He had no motivation to work, and his customers began to take their business elsewhere. Robbie's father grew increasingly frustrated with him, but he could not seem to get through to his son. One day, a wise old monk came to the village. He was known for his wisdom and kindness, and people from all over the region came to seek his guidance. Ruby's father decided to take his son to see the monk. The monk greeted them warmly and listened patiently as Ruby's father explained the situation. After hearing their story, the monk turned to Ruby and asked, My son, do you know what the most precious thing in the world is? Ruby thought for a moment and replied, Gold, perhaps, or maybe a beautiful gemstone. The monk smiled and shook his head. No, my son, the most precious thing in the world is time. Time is a precious gift that we can never get back once it's gone. So tell me, my son, are you using your time wisely? Ruby hung his head in shame. He knew deep down that he had been wasting his time and that he had let his father down. The monk continued, Every moment is a new opportunity to make something of yourself, to learn and grow, and to contribute to the world. You have been given a great gift, my son, the gift of life. It is up to you to use it wisely. With those words, the monk departed, leaving Ruby to ponder his words. From that day forward, Ruby realized that he had been wasting his time, and he made a conscious effort to change. He started to engage with his customers, learning about their needs and offering solutions. He took classes to improve his business skills and read books to expand his knowledge. And slowly but surely, his business began to thrive once again. Ruby learned that time was a precious gift and that it was up to him to use it wisely. He had wasted so much time before, but now he was determined to make every moment count. And so, he lived the rest of his days with purpose and passion, always striving to make the most of every moment. Mm -hmm.